Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the runtime and space complexity of MRSA. So let's first talk about the runtime complexity and then we're going to talk about the space complexity of MRSA. So in MRSA, merging two sorted arrays which have a total of n elements requires at most n minus 1 comparisons and we can prove that by the examples here. So in first case we have array 1 with 1 element and array 2 have 9 elements. So we will first compare 1 with 2 and after that we don't have any other element in array 1. So the number of comparisons in this case will be 1. In second case we have array 1 with 1 element and array 2 have 9 elements. So in this case we will have to compare 10 with all the elements of array 2. So the number of comparisons in this case will be 9. In the third case we have array 1 with 5 elements and array 2 also have 5 elements. So in this case we will have to compare all the elements of array 1 with 6. So the number of comparisons in this case will be 5. So since after every comparison one element gets positioned at its correct location, we will never require more than n-1 comparisons to merge two sorted arrays which have total of n elements. So next we will define an upper bound for the total number of comparisons done to merge sort an array which have n elements. So in merge sort we split the array in half and then call merge sort on each half and finally merge the two halves. So the total number of comparisons required will be the number of comparisons to merge sort each half plus the number of comparisons necessary to merge the two halves. So if tn be the function which denotes the number of comparisons required to merge sort an array of n elements we can define tn so tn will be less than equal to the number of comparisons required to merge sort the left half and the number of comparisons required to merge sort right half plus n minus 1 comparisons to merge those two halves so tn will be less than equal to 2 into tn by 2 plus n minus 1 and removing the minus 1 we can say the total number of comparisons to merge sort an array of n elements will always be less than 2 into t n by 2 plus n so now let's answer some questions so how many comparisons will be performed if we merge sort an array with only one element so if you remember one element is our base case we cannot divide an array which have only one element into the left subarray or right subarray so in that case we will return so the number of comparisons required to merge sort an array which contains only one element will be zero now how many comparisons will be performed if we merge sort an array with two elements so according to our formula we can say t2 will be less than 2 into t1 plus 2 so the number of comparisons required to merge sort an array which have two elements will always be less than 2. So how many comparisons will be performed if we merge sort an array of four elements? So according to our formula we can say t4 will be less than 2 into t2 plus 4. So the number of comparisons required to merge sort an array which have four elements will always be less than 8. And how many comparisons will be performed if we merge sort an array of 8 elements? Now we can say that T8 will be less than 2 into T4 plus 8. So the number of comparisons required to merge sort an array which have 8 elements will be less than 24. For 16 elements we can say T16 will be less than 2 into T8 plus 16. And we know T8 is 24. So the number of comparisons required to merge sort an array which have 16 elements will be less than 64. And if you can see the pattern, so for two elements we can say the number of comparisons will be 2 into 1. For four elements we can say the number of comparisons will be 4 into 2. For eight elements we can say for eight elements it will be 8 into 3. And for 16 elements will be 16 into 4. And for 32 elements, it will be 32 into 5. So for n elements, if we generalize that, it will be n into k and k will be log base 2 n. So if you see this 5 is log base n. So log 32 is 5, log 16 is 4 and log 8 is 3. 
and log 4 is 2 and log 2 is 1. So we can say for number of comparisons to Mersot and array which have n elements that will be n log n. So the total number of comparisons will always be less than n log n. So n log n is upper bound. The exact number of comparisons performed to Mersot and array of n element will be less than n log n, but it can never be greater than n log n. So the time complexity of Mersot will be n log n, so because of n log n. And note that the base of log is 2. Now talking about the space complexity, so in Mersot we divide the array in two halves and store it in left subarray and right subarray. So in the code you can see we, cal we calculate the midpoint and then we create two subarrays, left subarray and right subarray. So in Mersot we will be creating a lot of temporary arrays but they won't coexist at the same time. So the maximum extra space required to execute Mersot for an array of n elements will be equal to space required to store n elements temporarily in left subarray and right subarray. So the space complexity of Mersot will be order of n, so bigger of n. Now we can check the uh, runtime and space complexity of Mersot on Bigo cheat sheet. So here you can see the time complexity for Mersot in best case, average case and worst case is n log n and the space complexity is big O of n. So regardless of the input array, so whether it's reverse sorted or partially sorted or completely sorted, the number of comparisons will always be order of n log n. So in the next video, we're going to talk about quick shot.